Hey guys, I'm back again. So uh, last time I did share to you the Wirex app, which is the custodial version of their wallet. So if there is custodial, there is non-custodial as well, in which Wirex does have its own version, which is known other than the Wirex wallet, which is the cross-chain wallet for DeFi and NFTs, and it's currently available for both the Android and iOS devices. So before we get started, uh, make sure that you smash the subscribe button, hit like, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. And just to let you all know that we're not promoting any financial or investment advice, so kindly acknowledge the disclaimer that I have right here in this video and in the description, as this is only intended for educational, entertainment, and informative purposes only. So let's get started, and this is how it uh, looks like for the Wirex wallet which is a non custodial version in which later on in this video, I am going to show to you on how to download, install, and using the Warwick wallet and a step-by-step -step process in doing their one-of-a-kind biometric backup feature. So if we scroll down guys, so this is their gateway to the Web3 world in which we could swap assets on a major DEXs or simply known as decentralized exchanges, supplying or borrowing assets on Compound, Avi, or Nereus, and we could also buy and hold NFTs as well in multiple chains. And here's what I really like about Wirex, to be honest. We all know that most of the non custodial wallets these days are using the traditional seed phrase or the private keys. But for Wirex guys, they wanted to be something different and unique in which they do not implement the seed phrase feature because of its vulnerabilities uh, towards uh, this uh, malware hacks auto drainers by the hackers and so on with this feature alone it would be very 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 difficult for these hackers to uh penetrate our uh, wirex wallet because of no seed phrase vulnerability okay so this is truly one of a kind and I am going to show it to you a bit about their dashboard and its features and as well as on how to back up using our biometric stuff, okay? Which is kind of interesting to me because it's something that I have never tried before. So I am going to show it to you later on. And it has multi-chain wallets as well. They are supporting so many chains like Arbitrum, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Phantom, Polygon, and more to come in which I am going to suggest to them later on like ZK Sync Era, Linea, Scroll, ZK EVM, Polygon, ZK EVM, Starknet, and so much more. No matter if it's a layer 1, layer 2. So they could be compatible here on the Wirex wallet because they have a wallet connect feature, okay? And if we scroll down guys, we could access dApps and nfts within this wallet that would unlock the feature of decentralized finance and we can swap our tokens at our very own convenience and has an apr of up to 20 percent if you are into DeFi. okay and if i'm going to scroll down well just like what i mentioned it's available on the app store and the google play store or you can just simply scan the qr code right here on your mobile phone okay and of course, this is their custodial version, which is the Warwick's app. So if you want to check it out, so I provided the video link right here on the description. And I would really appreciate if you're going to sign up using the link as well that I provided here on the screen, okay? As well as signing up using my custom link. Now, here's what we have been waiting for, guys. So I am going to show you right now on how to download install exploring the dashboard and backing up our account with their truly one-of-a-kind innovative biometric system for a non custodial wallet that doesn't need seed phrases or private keys anymore now without further ado let's go all right so this is the non custodial version of wirex which is known as the wirex wallet in which uh there is a DeFi feature so what I'm going to do guys is that I will be creating a new wallet. So this is uh, my first time in creating this account, but of course I need to enter my email first. Okay, so this is the dashboard of the Wirex non-custodial wallet. So we could uh, check our uh, assets and uh, NFTs here. And also we could check uh, our activities. 
Okay, in the actions tab, so uh, we have the option to receive, send, buy, and connect with Wallet Connect. Okay, so um, it's time for us to back up our Wirex account first to proceed. Okay, so there are two options here. Okay, now I am choosing the biometrics. And this is how it looks like. The biometric backup is an important one-time security procedure. So all you have to do is to follow the instructions. So let's click. Let's go. So again, I have to verify my identity with uh, my fingerprint. Okay, so it says, take off your glasses, be emotional and agile. That's really important, you know, for um, this step. And the next step is uh, for us to be in the light. Follow directions to pass the liveness test. So we click next. And then uh, we should uh, watch the example on how it really looks like. Okay, so we watch the example. Move your head slowly around the circle to fill in all sectors. So we click let's go. So I just have to... um do this okay so here we go it's really brilliant for us to see you know it really detects our uh movement okay so i'm going to uh move my head as you can see right here okay until it is completed you see okay so next is liveness check please follow the hints to pass it all right and uh, you can see um the uh, how is it uh going to process so let's go all right initializing so searching for face so I need to open my mouth and make sure that I should uh, open it fully, not just partially. Okay, uh, as you can see right here, and then uh, I should smile. Okay, make sure that um, it's not going to be a partial smile, but a full smile. Okay, so here it is. My wallet is now secured. Okay, okay, so we are now into our profile. So. We could increase our security with uh, two-factor authentication. So in order for us to turn on the 2FA, so we're going to do this. So you can see the second factor, which is the email. We could set the limit of transaction as well. So it's really easy for us to set it, like the daily transactions limit, the daily volume limit, and the single transaction limit. So let's say I am going to set it like to the max of 25. And for the daily volume limit, for example, 3,000 USD. And for the single transaction limit, let's say I'm going to set it to 500 USD. All right, so we go back. And of course, uh, we could also uh, whitelist some of the addresses here if we wanted to. All right. So either we could copy paste the address of our contact, or we could scan the QR, or if we have an existing contact in Wirex, so we could add them as well. All right. So once you are satisfied, so just click save. Okay, so this is my updated profile in which I have edited uh, my daily transaction limits and other ones right here. Okay, and here are the other um, stuff that you could see right here uh, in the profile section of our uh, non custodial wallet. So let's say if I want to send, so we could select the asset. And from here, uh, we have so many options here. Okay. And not just assets, but also NFTs as well. All right. So let's say we want to send some Bitcoin. So we need to have some contacts here that are stored right here in our non custodial wallet. And let's say we want to buy. Okay. So it redirects us to the on ramper. So since I'm from the Philippines, guys, let's say if I want to buy Ethereum straight to my Wirex non custodial wallet. So this is the rate right now, and the option is Gcash, okay? And of course, um, if you want to do some DeFi activity, so Wallet Connect is available, all right? And the good news is that um, it supports uh, various DeFi activities like swapping, adding liquidity, staking, and so on with Wallet Connect, okay? And of course, um, if we check right here, so this is the overview of our uh, wallets and we have the option to add a new wallet as well if we wanted to. And of course, what about this one? So it redirects you to their uh, customer support. All right. So let's say you want to ask some questions or you can just simply need to be guided, you know, regarding its uh, features. Well, um, you can see some possible answers right here in the help section of Wirex. So there you have it, guys. At least I've shared to you regarding Warx Wallet, especially on how to install it on our mobile phones, how to back it up with your biometrics, and also turning on the 2FA and other features, and so much more.
So if you want more information, I have provided all the resource links right here on the video description. So I would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding the non-custodial version of the Wirex wallet. And one more thing, guys, I'm inviting you all to smash the subscribe button, hit like, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, kindly do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding crypto wallets, DeFi, and so much more. So I do have a question for you. Did you enjoy watching this video? Has this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way? And what do you think about it? Just let me know right here in the comment section. So once again, this is Nomad Fury and I'll see you all on my next video.